what's up so this is the second upload for today I really wanted to get this matter out there or this video out there talking about said topic um, and kind of just go over a couple things in said topic these are both snapping turtles the species is common snapping common snapping turtle um, but there's two different two different species of snapping turtle there's the alligator snapper and the common snapper in the common snapper species there is a subspecies that subspecies is the Florida snapper or Florida snapping turtle the difference between them is not much in appearance calm down is not much in appearance um, as you can see this guy is just trying to get away but once they actually mature size is a key factor <clears throat> so you can't really tell too too well the difference here other than this one is lighter now that is a trait from the Florida snapping turtle this here is the subspecies of common snapping turtle. This is a Florida snapping turtle, whereas this is just a common snapping turtle. No subspecies at play. Once the common snapping turtle gets to, come down, gets to an adult size, it's gonna max out about 25 pounds tops. The Florida snapping turtle, it's gonna max out at about 35 pounds tops as you guys can see there's a, a little bit difference in size calm down a little bit difference in size currently I honestly can't tell you which one is older I can tell you that these guys are about six months to a year so six to twelve months old a good reason why I wanted to make this video is because I've been seeing Myself, obviously, I've been seeing a lot of um, snapping turtles out of the water. A lot of people might not know what that means. Obviously, I know what time of year it is, so I know what it means. But some people don't. You will not see these guys outside of water unless one of two things. They are trying to relocate. Maybe uh, a drought or whatever caused their uh, their waterways to dry up so they're looking for different water or they're gonna lay eggs so that's a strong possibility especially this time of year they are laying and dropping eggs a buddy of mine actually sent me a picture of a female dropping eggs right next to his back porch awesomeness um, if you happen to see one of these turtles whether it's an adult or a baby out in the wild and it's crossing the street one thing you do not want to do is grab them calm down grab them by the tails now yes they have super long tails their tails stay long throughout their whole life that is not a handle if you pick them up by their tails, especially with adults that have a lot of girth or weight, calm down, a lot of girth or weight, you can actually uh, separate their vertebrae. You can paralyze them. Um, it's unlikely, but it is very possible that you could rip off their tail. It can get infected, and that is not good these guys typically don't care what kind of waterways they live in as long as there's different prey items they eat carry-on which is just dead uh, dead organic matter not so much organic matter it's dead life pretty much um, whether it's a fish that died a bird that died anything that died and it's in the water these guys will eat on it they will also eat different vegeta uh, vegetations um, they're gorgeous to look at they really are they get huge like I said the Florida snapping turtle maxes out at about 35 pounds 
these guys here, the common snapping turtle, about 25, 23 to 25 pounds. These, <clears throat> you don't want to mess with them in the wild. Let me put this one up, the smaller of the two. Again, when you see these in the wild, you don't want to pull them by their tail. You don't want to harm them. <clears throat> Again, if their tail does break off, it's very prone to um, infect, in, infections. Sorry, That's because these guys are normally covered in leeches. So if you have an open sore, obviously there's going to be a bunch of leeches there. So when picking these guys up, if you must pick them up, if they are in the middle of the road and you want to be a good Samaritan, respect right to you. I do it all the time. But the best way, obviously, when they're bigger is to grab, let me show you right here, is to grab under here. Obviously, when they're bigger, you have more of an area to kind of put your hands in under and hold them very, very similar to that there. Um, that is going to be the safest way for you and for them, as you've seen with the common snapping, common snapping turtle, whereas he kept moving his neck back to try to push me away. They can do that and bite you. So you want to be careful. These guys have strong enough beaks, mouths, whatever you want to call it, to actually bite off fingers. So be super, super careful. <clears throat> Another thing about these guys a lot of people see these as their babies and they see all these ridges and whatnot and they think alligator snapping turtle that's wrong obviously for many different reasons but most of the time it's people who are not exactly keen on the species or subspecies or anything for that matter when they are babies they have red ridges on their little ridges on their shell as they age, those ridges actually smooth out, never completely 100% smooth. They typically remain with the three ridges that you see visible there. Now, the alligator snapping turtle keeps all the ridges. It keeps the three predominant ridges, but it also keeps the ridges upon the, hello, the ridges upon the ridges. The beak or mouth or head shape of the alligator snapper is completely different with a longer snout. If you see between the eye and the tip of the nose, that's very short. And that's going to be short if you have a common or Florida snapping turtle. The alligator snapping turtles have more of a ridge defined right between the eyes and towards the tip of the nose. <clears throat> their beaks are a little bit longer where these guys are more of a round shape the alligator snappers are more of a pointed shape <clears throat> the alligator snappers do not hunt they lay in wait with their mouth open and they dangle their little tongue that looks like a worm to attract fish and other unsuspected prey unsuspecting prey these guys will hunt for their food these guys will chase down fish and all sorts of different things, but they will not, let me clarify, nine times out of 10, if you are in a body of water that is inhabited by snapping turtles, whether it's an alligator snapper or a common or a Florida snapping turtle, they are not going to chase you down and try to bite you. That's just not what they do. They do not try to attack prey too, too big, especially not way bigger than they are. Again, they do get up to 35 pounds, these guys in particular, the Florida snapping turtle. But think about that. 35 pounds compared to an adult human, let's say on average of 150 pounds, there's a big difference. These guys are not trying to just take a bite and go. These guys, if they try to attack you, they want to eat you, and that's just not going to happen with a human. These guys cannot tuck all their portions inside their shells like other turtles, that was gross, other turtles and tortoises. These guys 
when they're young, obviously have a lot of predators compared to when they're older. I do apologize for talking your guys' ears off. I just wanted to post about the snapping turtles and the differences of the subspecies. So again, the species is common snapping turtle. This is a subspecies of the common snapping turtle. Florida snapping turtles will be lighter in coloration throughout their whole shell. Again, the Florida snapping turtle gets bigger at about 35 pounds max, whereas the commons only stay about 23 to 25 pounds. But that's going to be the end of that, guys. I just got peed on by a snapping turtle. You guys take care. Have a good day.